right, so this is part two of Mother's Day brunch, and we are going to make ham and eggs brunch braid, which just means the way that we put the dough together. Um, we're gonna start with uh, four ounces of cream cheese and a half a cup of milk, and we're gonna put that in the microwave and get that so that we can blend that together. As soon as you walked away. <laughs> Let's go play Jeff. Okay. So now we've got our cream cheese melted into our milk. And we're going to, um, by the way, this is the pan that I'm using, but you could use just a regular cookie sheet. This is my rectangular stone, but you can use a regular baking sheet. Just make sure that you um, spray it with nonstick or use parchment paper so that you don't have any problems with it sticking. We're gonna crack eight eggs into this. The recipe calls for Separating one egg and using the white to brush onto the dough. Yeah, you don't need to do that. Um, there's a couple of things that we're going to put in here. You can do that as much as you like. We've got red bell pepper, green onion. You don't have to use that. Um, I'm, I'm using ham that I had put in the freezer after the last time we had ham. But the recipe calls for deli ham. You can buy a quarter of a pound at the deli counter. So we're going to turn on our frying pan, get that butter melting. We're going to, this is going to be like a creamy scrambled egg mixture. We're going to add our green onions and red bell pepper and ham into after it starts to cook a little bit. All right, so our butter is melted. I'm going to pour eggs and cream cheese and milk into the pan. There's an egg that did not mix up in that. Surprise! No worries. Sprinkle with salt and a little bit of black pepper. We're going to add our green onions and red bell pepper. I chopped it up kind of small because you don't want gigantic bites of that in your eggs. And then I'm gonna throw some of my diced ham not the ones that I dropped on the floor. <laughs> Hashtag real life. All right. We're gonna get a spatula and we're going to gently turn down the heat. And we're just gonna mix this up. You can see that the texture is changing as it cooks. Okay, I'm going to add my cheese. It calls for half a cup of cheese. Put as much cheese in there as you like. Like a half a cup or more. <laughs> it smells yummy. We took two packages of crescent rolls. You don't want to separate them, you just want to unroll them, and then you just kind of mash them all together so that it's just one big sheet of crescent roll, okay? 
Oven is at 350. Our eggs have cooked and we're gonna lay that down the center of the dough. Now, you can wait and put your cheese on at the end after you've cooked your eggs, or you could put it in with your eggs. And then we're going to cut slits. And this is what we're going to braid. All right, so then we take our dough and bring up two pieces and then you kind of twist them. In the recipe, it calls for like twisting them and yeah, we're just wanting to keep the egg mixture inside the bread. Okay, and then this is going to bake all together. And I like to stick a piece of aluminum foil over as it bakes in the beginning because we don't want it to get too dark as things cook inside. All right, and we'll see it when it comes out in about 25 minutes. All right. Slice it along that, and you have your breakfast French braid. Don't forget to clean up. Make sure that you don't leave a mess for your mom. Make sure that you let her know how much you love her, and ask her what was her favorite uh, Mother's Day gift all the years that she's been a mom. Ask her, maybe, maybe there's a specific memory that she has. Have a great week and I hope you're working hard at your school. You're almost done. See ya.